Backyard Bee Builder here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about being a responsible beekeeper. Um, now, we, those of us that have bees, even if you are in the country or in the city, um, when you have bees, there is somewhat of a liability associated with them. Um, now, you might not be allergic to bees, and maybe your neighbors aren't allergic to bees, but there's one of two things that typically happens when you get stung by bees frequently. Um, with that, there usually, some people will actually become immune to the stings where it doesn't affect them very much, um, if at all. And so they don't get worried about being stung and uh, they just having that little bit of venom put into their system um, each time they're stung and their body no longer reacts. However, there is another percentage of people who actually become more sensitive to the sting the more in the venom, the more often that they are stung. And um, I've known of people who have actually had to quit beekeeping because of that, where they've done beekeeping for years and all of a sudden um, they get stung a few times and they swell up and they end up in the hospital because um, their body just becomes really sensitive to it. So with that, um, we also have friends come over and family members come over and see our hives. And uh, there's all, always that risk of them getting stung. Um, and a sting isn't going to hurt anyone typically, but uh, some people are allergic to bee stings and they might not know it. So um, when I got my beehives, I was worried about this a little bit, especially since I have five young children. Um, my husband was mildly allergic to them. Um, however, over time, as he's gotten stung, he's actually become uh, less allergic to them. His body is starting to uh, adapt and not to where he doesn't uh, swell up very much with the sting. Um, however, with my five children, I didn't know if they were allergic to these things or not. So what I did was I went to my doctor, and this, a lot of people don't actually know this. If you go to your physician and you tell them that you have beehives, that they will actually prescribe you an EpiPen. Um, and they're not very expensive, especially if you, if you have insurance. Um, they, so you can have one on hand, um, even if you're not allergic to them. So you can have one in case that someone were to come over, get stung and have an allergic reaction. Um, but there's another thing that I was unaware of when I first started out, and that was that there are two different kinds of EpiPens. Um, here you can see, I've got the regular EpiPen that most people get, and this is the adult dosage EpiPen. Um, and this is really the majority of, but there's actually an EpiPen Junior, and this is actually for a ch children dose. Um, so if you have young children, or if you have grandchildren or you know neighbor children, um, that uh, might get stung, it would probably be a good idea to have both on hand. Um, so that's what, actually what I have. I've got an adult and a child uh, dose for them. Um, with these EpiPens, it comes with a tester. Um, and this is a tester pen, and this is just to kind of train you to, uh, to know how to use it. And really, it's pretty simple. You take the cap off, and at that point, it, re it releases the safety. And then you're able to um, use it to inject people with with what could be a life-saving medicine. Um, now, if you do get an EpiPen, I recommend that you read all the instructions and familiarize yourself with it so that if something happens, you'll be able to use it. Just to clarify, EpiPens are only to be used in an emergency, only for severe reactions, and you're still recommended to go to the hospital afterwards. Um, but it's just really to save a life. Um, it, it's kind of a, just to get you, uh, if your airway is closing off or if you're ha really having a severe reaction, that is what the EpiPen is for. Before you use it, make sure that you talk to your doctor and that you really know what it's about, how to use it, and when to use it. I keep them on hand. I know several of um, my mentors also have them on hand and they keep them kind of tucked away in their toolbox just in case. Um, so uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal. You might never use them, but it's a good safety to have on hand. So I hope this was helpful um, and that you learned something from this. And I would encourage you to also uh, look into getting an EpiPen if you, if you have hives that are around people that could get stung. Um, this is the Backyard Bee Builder. See you next time.